correct and true. Um, Eighty thousand dollars just won't do it. Not in not in Orange and San Diego County. Look, I'm telling you, you got an EBT card if you're making eighty thousand dollars in San Diego County. Full stack. That's what's going on. Yeah. Not that I don't want any, and if anybody has any, I would. Yeah, you know, yeah, give me anything. some. <laughs> yeah. Hey, definitely would love that, man. Oh my gosh, man! I'm my head is just going. I'm I'm just I'm I'm just thinking that call. I'm thinking about the, who, who the reports I gotta put in there. That I got more information. Uh, it's it's a lot with me right now, man. Mona but, uh, De Leon really handed us something. She gave us Mona De Leon yeah. pretty much gave us a gift. I mean, really, she's gonna look if 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 somebody can put the pressure on Mona, I'm pretty sure. That everything else will fall down. Yeah. They're gonna question we her. See. They're gonna question her. These are things that she's gonna have to answer. But like, I'm gonna follow up with what Max said. He was like, "If you have a legitimate complaint, put it in." And a lot of people are not willing to do that because they feel they're gonna be docs. But when it comes to harassment, intimidation, stalking. Those people can be covered. There's ways lawyers can get around that without disclosing a lot of information on you. When I, I, put my, I put my reports in. I put my police reports in. My name is on everything. My name will be on everything um, after that. It ain't no problem because, shit, guess what? My information is already out there. It doesn't even matter. Remix put my phone number up. I mean, what do y'all want? You can call me at that very number. It's no problem, but yeah, right. I, I, I don't care. They put my dad's info out there. And he <laughs> called in today and told KKC he was going to put another bullet in his head today. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. KKC handled it well. He laughed it off and, and did so, it. So. But uh, yeah, you got, the, you got the you audio. You with these people, man. Just... So, okay. So let, let's let's take that into consideration real quick. So KK, um, Remix called, right? And he said he's going to do that. Right, yeah. but if you listen to A, yes, yeah, she she was saying something about L being a lawyer or wanting to be a lawyer and hanging out with criminals or whatever. But they are <laughs> up and um remix this chat, you know. And let, and what did Ref say one time? He said he's a he's a, a alumni or whatever of um the Portion University. So they are in his chat, chumming up with him, and he's threatening to shoot people and and do stuff to kids. How is that even? Oh come on, Mac! They've been doing this forever. <laughs> but when it came, when what when, when I when I when I told somebody when I when I when I gave a figure of speech, they was they was like, oh, uh, oh no, this cat right here, he done he done went off the deep end. And look at the the, the devolution, the devolution, however you want to say it. Is that a word? I don't know. I'm gonna say, look <laughs> at what's happened to your hero since then. Since I hit the scene, look at where these cats have went to. That's terrible. Anti, listen. Mm -hmm. I still got the money. And I'm, I'm always going to have it. It ain't no big deal. There's nothing that you can do. Call the people. Call the people. Call everybody that you can call. I'm talking about get on the phone right now. Write your letters right now. Anti. It's me. And what you going to do about it? Man, is this the beautiful Bernice that's on the panel? Thank you, Alan, for yes, support. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, What's going it's on? me. Um, I, I just wanted to say I'm I'm really exhausted, but um uh this whole thing with Apple Spangali and um with Dr. Clay, that it, that had me feeling a little funny, but on on the same token. I want everybody to remember this. Um, Dr. Clay doesn't really know our sector that well. He doesn't really know the storylines that's going on. He only knows what's going on with him and, and uh, Mona and AAS. And actually, really, that's what he was trying to get clear. So I just want to put that out there. He doesn't really know what's going on with you, Alan, and Brown Sugar Baby. He just knows what's going on with him. So as far that's what he was really trying to get clear. You know, I just want everybody to know that. And um, just keep that in mind. Afro Spengali is a dumb bitch. Okay, she didn't know that that she was online. I'm I'm just want y'all to know that. 
She really didn't. I, I really feel that she didn't. And if she did know that we were online, she's still a dumb bitch because she she didn't get anything done but make herself look like part of it because of like what what Mac just said. She just admitted that she was working with Mona and doing something to hurt people in the sector since 2020. And it doesn't make any sense. This is a woman that's been bothering Dr. Boyce Watkins and Michi X before she came to us. I just want y'all to keep that in mind too. And the mm -hmm. only reason why she probably yep. left them alone is because she didn't have the money to fuck with them. No, um, don't so, forget keyboard musician. And you know keyboard musician. Remember, remember when she did that thing with Michi X and Michi X supporters started coming at her? That's why. Because yes, yes, and Vicky Dillard, <laughs> yep, Vicky I, Dillard, I, I, remember? Vicky got in it. Some people was coming at her after her too. Yeah. So she she knows who she she's she's fucking with us because she thinks we're the little man, but yeah. she has to realize we're not. We're not, and uh, I'm not going to let her play me as no stupid. That's that's not going to happen. I don't give a fuck if she knew that, that we was on the line or not. But I just want y'all to keep in mind. Dr. Clay doesn't have anything to do with the sector. He just wanted to clear up shit with for his name because that's what that's what, he's important. What he was he was he just won there. Absolutely. And he don't want to be involved with that shit. You I know agree. What I'm so he wanted to know what was going on with this Mona and with him. That's what he was talking about. And it, See, and, and she's a piece of shit liar. I, I gotta go back and, I gotta go back and, and re-listen to it, but this is what I it sounds like to me. It sounds because mm -hmm. she, she said it a few times that oh they're trying to put you against me, which nobody never did that. She's the one that made that. Post. Nobody ever it did almost, that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It almost seems like she she reached out to Dr. Clay and was telling him that people are trying to put him against her. And right. you know, he right. decided to come on here and clear the air. And then I think once he was done, he probably called her or she called him. I I I didn't see that part. I have to go back and see how I think he called and, her. Right. So I think that's probably what he did. Once he came on here and cleared his air, cleared his name, he decided to call her because then you heard her saying that they're trying to put you against me. But nobody never said that. I don't even nobody know. Ever did that. I don't even know him and except for when he was on. Yeah, nobody over in and the he sector didn't, and knows he, didn't, he doesn't know any of you guys. He barely knows um he 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 knows KKC, but I'm in KKC's room and as I, as his mod, um, he doesn't really know me. He knows me. Right. He knows you. Yeah. So I mean, like, you know, he spoke to you, of course. But um, like I'm saying, he doesn't he he's he knows AAS. He doesn't know anybody else. He doesn't, he's as not as guilty. As what, right. As far as what's going on, him attacking, I mean her attacking you, Alan, and uh, Mac and anybody yeah, else that she's yeah. attacking. She does he doesn't know anything about that. He just wants he to hear shit what's going on with her, with him. That's what I feel. So if anybody and, um, defrauded charlatans, I know you feel a little skeptical about it, but I want you to keep that in mind. I'm not trying to, you know, kick you in the knees or nothing like that, but, you know, just slow down and just, you know, just just just, just to keep that in mind, okay? So I'm going to go to bed now because I'm just exhausted. My medicine is kicking me in my ass. You all have a great night. <laughs> and, okay. Uh, all right, beautiful. Have a good night, baby. Right. Okay. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah, good night. <laughs> and that's what I wanted again. to say. When you're on live, you cannot have any feedback. So she didn't. She couldn't have known. And neither yeah. could he. Yeah, I got to watch it again. But like I said, that's what it sounds like to me is that she reached out to him and tell him that, you know, people were trying to put him against her. And, you know, he came on here tonight to, to clear that up. Because he said it, he even said it a few times that him and anti-Afro is cool on, when he was talking to KKC. So I think that's probably what happened. But Nobody was talking about Clay and her. I, I, at least I know I didn't mention anything about that, and I didn't hear anybody talk about that. No, that I can understand. Important. I can understand Dr. Clay's uh, point of view. Is you know what I mean? Big in DC. I don't know if y'all realize who you like, were talking to tonight. Like Clay is that man a, is the real yeah. deal in DMV, and if you fuck with him, you better have your shit straight. Boom! I'm that's telling I'm you. About. I can't say that. Like that's that's real, for real, for real. Cause I got, you know, I got ops, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that I talk to behind the scenes and everything go fuck with my ops and stuff like that. It's no, look, it ain't, it's, it's no big deal. And they don't know a lot about what's going on over here and everything like that. People's people can't be everywhere all the time. Yo, I get it. I'm not saying that Dr. Clay 
is down with anything, but he was just trying to get his thing straight. And you know, that's understandable. Man, there's again, everybody is it's understandable, you know, why everyone feels the way they feel. And so all I can say is time will definitely tell. But um I am thankful for that, that phone call, whether it was scripted or not. Mm-hmm. It was just it was interesting. And so Brown Sugar Baby is like, I don't care if it's scripted or not, it's been turned in. <laughs> so it don't yeah. matter. <laughs> Number and, one live uh, in the sector. But <laughs> Dr. Clay that. is definitely the real deal. I'm telling you that. Oh yeah. And my parents, my my family have been to see him. I've had books from him, all kinds of stuff. He's the real deal. And he don't play like that. That man helps um, SX uh, uh, victims, children. And she's taking his um, reputation and then putting it through the mud. He is very big there in that area. Yeah, he's definitely he, and he got some things going on. Um, he asked me not to speak of, but I, so all I can say is it's a reason why um, I say that he he is busy. Um, I'm not sure about you know. I know Stephanie Collins is a lawyer or whatnot, but I I, I know um, from talking to Dr. Clay that his he doesn't have a lot of time to you know let's see what's going on 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 YouTube or whatnot. So. Yeah, I'm he's just, constantly you know, booked. You can't even really get to any of his events. He constantly have events and on call for XX patients. People don't have time yeah. for that. Yeah, dude has, like like he said this evening, they contacted, you know, the national board. He won three awards on a county level, state level, national level. So they kept, they contacted whoever, you know, is over the national awards. So you know, it's they. The fact that they trying to to ruin anybody's lives just because I call uh, Mona an infiltrator, is is just total bullshit. No matter what you how you look at it, but um. KKC, that's not even bullshit, sir. You ain't never seen nothing like that in your real life. You don't know nobody <laughs> who goes to that extent. Talk about some bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. I've seen bullshit. This ain't bullshit. This is something else. What's this right here? What what do you call it, man? I call this man psychopathy, one oh one. I call this I call this something that you only saw in the movie before and couldn't figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that scared you, right? That's this is what this is. These are people that sometimes I wonder if these motherfuckers are looking in the window and shit like that. This is what this is, and I'm close enough to it to where see you in Tennessee. Uh, brown sugar baby is wherever she's at and make a change is where he's at look man i am one county over sometimes i have to go to work in san diego you know what i mean i'm just saying you you never know who's, uh, out, there, I got you. who's out there peeping and doing what man look this stuff right here is creepy as f it is I'm, mm. I'm I, don't brown even, sugar. I got enemies i got some real enemies i'm talking about in life that ain't went to this extent Exactly, and I I'm with Brown Sugar Baby uh, YM. You know, it's it, it it it's been you know escalated from trolling to this is cyber stalking at this point, man. It's you know these people really contacted my disability uh personnel, the folks that's that's overpaying me my benefits, trying to have my benefits cut off because they they were convinced that I'm able to to work you know six hours out of an eight hour work period just because i can sit on the computer you know for six hours never you know considering the fact that well if i do go to work no matter what job i have even if it's licking stickers to put on envelopes i'm going to have to have a certain amount of stickers licked and placed on envelopes within an hour's time frame so i have to perform and produce and i can't do that and you're not going to be able to determine that by me sitting behind a, a, a computer for six hours and, and live streaming on YouTube. But in their minds, they were convinced and they were compelled to report me for that. And that's what they did. And so now I'm sitting here having to make sure that I keep my benefit, in which I'm not f- afraid of losing them because, for one, 
I reported everything, but two, I I did not make enough to even consider what I made part time employment. So I. There was no offset to my benefits. I'm not going to lose my disability, but they were trying to affect them when they know it's not just me. Like, I'm not just taking care of myself. I have two children that I take care of, no matter how the fuck they feel about if I'm behind on child support or not. My kids are not one for nothing. You can't prove that shit to the people. If you can't put it out there and I delete my whole channel, I'll never come back. Hey, my man, kids look, are not worth, worth one for shit, right? Look, go ahead, Alan, because I don't want to get worked it's up. The th it's the thing, yeah. Don't 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 get fired up. Don't get fired up. That's why I jumped in. But uh, listen, it's the fact that you got people on here defending things that they don't have to defend. Folks have jumped up and made accusations. The onus is on them. All right, that's where it's at. The onus is on them. You don't have to. You don't have to reply or respond. To anything that these people do. If you decide to, cool. If you don't, hey, that's cool too. But I'm just saying, somebody jumped into your background, decided to dig up something on you, and now all of a sudden, we doing whole shows on this. Now all right. of a sudden, we 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 talking about this. We responded, man, I do not serve troll dinner. I don't do that. Got you, man. Got you. We definitely like I would. said earlier on today, KKC, it's it's not it's just it's just malicious, man. Because like we said, since we you came on the scene, you said you got shot, so we know that you weren't working, and they were your friends. They were cool with you, so right. they knew this already. But now they take they take that as an opportunity to try to, you know, try to hurt you in a way. That's just malicious. That's just yeah, to a whole level of low, man. That's just totally low. It doesn't say something new that they didn't know you were doing. Yeah, it, it was so they knew the whole have, time. <laughs> pretty much told your story. You know, we knew your story. And then okay, I, I got you. Love to attack um veterans. She put up my husband was a stolen valor, all this type of crazy mess. Talk about I can't go to legal. This lady is Sick. I've never seen anyone like this. And it's beyond um just making content at this point. It's yeah. not it's beyond that. And and when I heard Mac say, just don't sit there, you have to take action. And I I sat on it. And then all of a sudden she started accusing my husband of a crime, saying he's a stolen valor and um all kinds of stuff so then i had to take action because she said clearly i'm looking into this i have information but you're digging in someone that probably has been in classified places that you shouldn't be digging that's you don't know you, that she wants you to respond and have something to say um so you know so she can keep talking i, I really believe that that's her that's her play like i'm going yeah to that's her play lie. but that's not everyone yeah. else's play right 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 so yeah, so that's people, go ahead i'm sorry go ahead but and then also i was i also went down to the social security administration i call but they you know the law the line is so long so tomorrow i have an appointment oh, yeah. to go speak to someone and I was encouraged by Mac to do that as well. So it's all about action. It's not, this video is just talk. But when you put it in action, it's a different thing. I feel comfortable when I lay down at night knowing that my kids are going to be safe. My husband, my grandbaby is going to be safe. I don't know what this lady is capable of doing. She has somebody working with nuance, looking up people's um, mental health and medical information. I found that out today. That's that's, that's that company um, needs to know they got liabilities all up and through there. <laughs> that's some bullshit. But um, I want to thank everybody um, tonight for coming up to the show and. I I invite everyone to come back anytime um to tell their stories. 
But um, we're finna get ready to shut it down. I'm tired. <laughs> I and me tired. too. I, I have. Yeah. Right on. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. But Al, thanks no for coming Alan. up. You and um.